Hello friends and fellow collectors, you're going to get a special treat in today's video. We're going to be taking a look at a vintage model that is nearly 30 years old as of the date of this video's publication on YouTube. It is the Conrad 1-50 scale Caterpillar 583 pipe layer. Now, this was distributed by Norscott, but it is not a Norscott model, so that's a bit of contention and confusion even to this day especially if you're trying to find this or look this up on the internet. Uh, it is actually, you can actually find them on secondary sites like eBay under both Norscott and Conrad, but Conrad actually made the model, Norscott distributed the model. So taking a look at the side, you can see the model here, a nice uh, picture. These did come with a limited number of serial certificate, uh, and this is number five in a series, that really doesn't matter. 1 to 50 scale, a marvelous achievement in the die cast model making replica. So, again, you have to go back in time. Metal linked tracks were not the norm back then. Uh, it was kind of a bit of a, a treat, and you knew you were getting more of a high quality model if your model had metal linked tracks versus the plastic or rubber tracks. You can see new features and metal tracks. First thing that they note rigid undercarriage decals and dashboard. Here we can see the serial number right here in white, 00162, copyright Caterpillar 1997, which is exactly one year prior to Norscott getting the license to produce scale models themselves. And over here you have the Conrad logo up here is the, the old CAT licensed logo. Same thing on that side, that's just an auction sticker because I did purchase mine second hand. Alright, let's open up and see what we get inside. First thing is some styrofoam. So let's go ahead and pop this open. The model is fully assembled inside the box. I realize that's a little hard to see on camera. Just remove this. Be very careful what you grab onto. And there you go. Your model's complete from its packaging. All right, as we come back, I figured we'd start on the bottom. So here again is your serial number, knowing that it does match what's on the box, 162, model number 2874, 150 scale. Here's the Conrad logo here, so you know that it's a Conrad model made in Germany. So that's what you need to know underneath. Now, let's take a look at this beauty. Despite its age, it really has, unlike some of us, uh, it has really stood the test of time. The paint is great, the decals are great, you can tell that whoever I bought this from and I don't know who it was, it was just some random gentleman on the internet, really cared and really took care of this machine. So, cat, your decals are used for the radiator venting. Same thing here for your winding chevrons on the side of the large counterweight. Caterpillar right above the engine, you'll know this is a large hole here because Conrad, in all their infinite wisdom, used the same tooling for the 583 pipe layer as they did the D9G. That's another model I recently picked up. You'll see a video review on that very, very shortly. At the back, Caterpillar. Again, here's the Chevron, and here's your telltale era of this machine. The ever-so-famous Pac-Man or Block C logo with 583 written underneath it. That's the decals. For some of the other details, you can see a black plastic seat, some uh, etched not necessarily etched, but textured walkway outside of the operator station. No cab on this, no ROPS on this, really wasn't the thing back then. Um, so that is kind of accurate to what this is. And for a long time, if you wanted a vintage 583, this is really one of the only options available to you, especially with metal tracks. Uh, that was until very recently when CCM, I believe, did the K version, the 583K pipe layer. Uh, you can see a video review of that right here if you want to. Okay, those are the details and decals. When we come back, we'll go over the model's functionality. All right, let's go through the functionality now. The metal tracks do roll really, really well in either direction. That is good to see. You can move the counterweight out if you want to display the machine lifting uh, some pipe, which is obviously mainly what this is used for. That and train derailments. You can see that there are two winches, one here and one here. These knobs operate the winches. So let's see what this one does. So if you turn this, that's going to raise and lower your block and your line. 
Just make sure you're not jumping threads. That's always very important. And then this knob over here is what will control your uh, arm, your arm up and down. So as you can see now, I'm, I'm lowering it, and now I'm raising it back up. Taking my time here to not break a 30-some-year-old model. But if you are careful in either way, either direction, you can see that it will lower the main side boom, raise the main side boom, as well as lower and raise your, uh, your main line. So, in conclusion, the Conrad 1-50 scale Caterpillar 583 pipe layer is a very functional model, and for its time, it was very well built and very detailed. These are still very desirable by most collectors today, and can fetch several hundred dollars, especially if you have one in this good of condition with a mint box with a serial number that matches the machine to the box. So I have to say, I got very, very lucky there, and I am appreciative of that. Now, I did say this is based on the D9G, specifically, that uh, Conrad also did. Here is the, the box for that in the background. So, stay tuned. In another upcoming video here very, very soon, you will see this model, and then we'll compare it to this model, so be sh make sure that you look out for that. All right, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.